All right, guys, here we go. Let's go get, get us some sand crabs. That's essential bait for Corbina. You can get yellow fin croakers with it. You can get perch. I even got some calico bass on, on sand crabs. So what I like to do is I like to let the wave pass me, right? And when it's retrieving back, that's when I stick the net in and start kicking up some sand. And there you go. Just one shot. I have a bunch of sand crabs. That's perfect. I'll just put this right here. Fresh live bait. I'm gonna go ahead and rig them up for you guys so you see how I do it. What I'll do guys, what I like to do is this point of the sand crab, it's his head. That's the tail. The paddle side, the paddle side is the tail, the other side is the head. I like to just put the hook right through the head, right on top. That's the toughest point on its shell. And I found that to be the best way to keep the bait on. I like to stack them up guys. I don't just put one. So if I have something this size, I'll put two. Unless I get a really big one, then I'll just put it alone. But usually for sand crabs this big, I like to stack up at least two of them. There we go, just like that. And repeat the same thing for the bottom. on guys fish on finally Pursuit 6,000. There we go. Ugh. Oh, it's a guitar fish. It's a big old guitar fish. Here it is, guys. about 20 inches all right let's go ahead and release this guy all right guys we're gonna go ahead and release this guitar fish such a cool looking fish there we go there it is goes See if we got dinner. It feels kind of small. What is that? 
Oh, it's a barred sand bass. It's a really nice barred sand bass. But I can't keep that because it's got to be a minimum of 14. There we go. I shot it again. Go ahead and release this guy. There he goes. Alright guys, let's go ahead and load this one up with crabs. Cast it out. Hopefully we get another fish. I am starving. Hopefully we can get something that I can eat. I don't want anything undersized. I don't want any sharks. Any rays. Alright, let's go ahead and cast it out. several hours until it's high tide. I just loosen the drag as I'm walking back because I don't want to drag the weight with me. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put the bell back. Loosen your drag because you don't want it to take your rod if it's a big fish. Perfect. Guys, check this out. I just found this plastic bottle with a note in there. If you are reading, wow, this is trippy. I could, there's writing in there, guys. So I'm going to open this up later in my car and read out the note for you guys, okay? This is really weird. Let's hope we got dinner. Here it comes. You got to bring it in gently. You got to bring it in gently. Nice. You got a croaker, guys. Finally got some dinner. Yay. All right. Go guys, a nice little croaker. Fish out, guys. Get another croaker because he was fighting really hard and then he just died out again. It doesn't feel like it's too big. Yep, there it is. Another croaker. All right, perfect, guys. I got my dinner today. I'm going to go ahead and pack everything up. 
and start the cooking. So stay tuned. There we go, another nice croaker. That was quick too. That was right when I cast it. All right guys, so I got both fish. I'm gonna wash them off a little better and I'm gonna take the guts out so I could scale them. And we're gonna throw them in the frying pan with some butter and enjoy it. Let's put this guy up here. Let's do it one at a time. All right, here's what I like to do. Just cut through the anal hole all the way up to the chest. Spread that open. All right. Make sure you don't cut any of the guts open. And there you go. You got yourself all the guts right there. There you yank it out. Toss it in the water. Toss that in the water. There you go. Nice and clean. Drop my scissors. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now, I got the two fish, got the heads off. I'm gonna go ahead and scale them. This is a great scaler guys. This thing takes the scales off the fish like it's nothing. It's made by South Bend. You can get it from Walmart. Here, check this out. I scaled this side. Watch, this side's not scaled yet. Watch, look how quickly this thing does it. Bam, scaled. See how it collects? It all collects in here. It's really cool. Hey guys, sorry I'm running out of light, so I'm going to have to turn on my uh, headlamp here. Hope it's not too bright. Alright. I got my stove on. Just go ahead and put some butter in there. Go ahead and add some salt. That's smelling really good. Here we get both sides. I'm gonna let it get really nice and crispy on one side and then I'll flip it over again. Alright, I think these are done. We'll go ahead and turn it off. I don't want to blind you guys, so I'm going to put the light here. Oh, 
All right, guys. This is my first time uh, catching and cooking on the beach. Never done it before. I've done some trout videos where I catch and cook. Look at that. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this. I know you can't see that. You'll probably see it right, right around here. Let's go ahead and try this. Wow. Guys, this is really good. I didn't think it was gonna be this delicious. Ooh, it's really hot. Let's see if I can get a nice piece. I'll show you. There we go. Right there, guys. Mmm. Really good. It's pure protein. And some good fats in there. There's a big bone right there. I gotta move that. Wow. Little scale. No biggie. There's another piece right there. Oh yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. This is gonna be it for today. I got here kind of late, so I ain't have much light to work with. At least I managed to catch some fish. And do a little catch and cook for you guys hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you